He was killed because with his bicycle blocked the way of two young Greek individuals who later on found out they were members of the Golden Dawn. Or at least in the possession of one of them, 50 posters, 50 flyers of Golden Dawn were found in his place. So this was a racially motivated crime. Let me point out that in Greece right now, I think we are the only state that does not have a law punishing race crimes. This is the beginning to build something new in Greece, in Europe and here. This is not just an occasion for us to stop the acts, possible acts of Golden Dawn here in New York. Uh, from that, I think you have a good understanding what, what things do not go well. Along with Golden Dawn, we have the Greek police, which on every single occasion that there was a protest against them, either by the, by the anti-fascist on the streets of Athens, late in the evening always, because this is the time that they go out, the assault squads of Golden Dawn. And this is the time that often anti-fascists also protest on the street of Athens. In every single occasion, the police protect the Golden Dawn. We protest that. We protest the Greek government's direct collaboration with them. After all, they are in the parliament. We'll make sure that next, next, next elections, they will not be. It is very clear from what I just said that we cannot expect anything from the Greek government or anything from the Greek police. Following the example of many, many communities in Greece that took direct action and as a result offices were not opened in many cities of Athens, following their examples we should keep mobilizing here. We started early in the fall, organized the meeting, was very well attended, more than 200 people. The media here took, immediate, uh, took notice of that. As a result of that, we don't have an office of Golden Dawn here. But we cannot stop paying attention because this is not just a Greek phenomenon. We see similar things happening also in Italy, in Spain. They organize and they, they sort of feel a vacuum left there as a direct result of the economic crisis. People feel desperate. They feel desperate and in their desperation they turn to those that they, they feel that they're responsible for that. The immigrants, they look different, they speak different. Until now, the narrative was that they take our jobs. There are no jobs to be taken. The immigrants have no jobs. The Greeks don't have jobs. The Europeans don't have jobs. We're all into that together. 27 cities around the world from Australia to South America. Uh, yesterday we found out something was organized in uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, here in uh, the States, in Chicago, in New York, apparently this is. <laughs> and uh, in uh, Canada, in uh, Montreal and Toronto, they have protests and various, uh, various uh, events. Apparently Europe is the center of that, like most of the cities that mobilized are in uh, in Europe, starting with uh, London. So this is, again, this is not just a phenomenon in Greece. And something else, we should not underestimate it. They might not be that big right now. To some people, one killing, one murder might be just an isolated phenomenon. We should not underestimate it. Hist history tells us we should not underestimate people that threaten at any time other human beings because they look different, because 
supposedly they take our jobs. Thank you. John? Thank you.